Hi, I'm going to show you how easy it is to automate file downloads from a web page in just two steps using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Before we get started, I just want to give you a quick bit of context so you understand how this automation works. So this template works by loading a web page. And in the example I'm going to show you, I'm going to load this web page to download these two pension forms. So what the bot does is go to the page. It will then click on each of the links to download these two templates into a folder on my desktop. Now, if you want to download to a file in the cloud, you can use our Google Drive step. OK, let's get started. First of all, let's install the template. Now, if you found this video on YouTube, go to axiom.ai. On the top menu, click on templates. There you'll be able to find this and many other templates you can use to automate the browser and learn more about browser automation with axiom.ai. If you're already on the um, template page, just click to install it using the button there or the one at the top of the page. If you haven't created your Axiom account already, you'll see a different button. You can click on that to create your account. Every new account comes with some free runtime so you can test out automations or other templates like this. Now, without any further ado, let's configure then run this template. Now it's just two steps is all we need to do to configure this template and have it ready to run. So it's going to take seconds. Let's open up the template. I've already installed it. I'm gonna open it up on the page where I want to download my files from. Here's the template. You can see I've got just two steps in this automation. You can add more, you can customize it. Don't worry about that. And the first step, step number one, is go to page. This couldn't be simpler. Now just in the first field, enter URL. All you need to do is cut and paste the URL to the, the page you want to download your files from. You could add a read data from Google Sheets step and loop through URLs in Google Sheets if you wanted to as well. Um, more about customization later, but I'm just going to click Get URL and it inserts the URL into the field. So that's the first step set up. Simple as that. We've only got one more. Okay, next step two download files. Now, once again, this only works on the desktop, this download file step, because of course it's going to save into a desktop folder. You can't do that in the cloud, but we do have an option to download to a Google Drive, and that runs in the cloud. But I'm going to expand this step, step two, and I'm going to walk you through setting up. First of all, on select, you need to choose the files you want to download, and that couldn't be simpler. It's point and click. And I've selected the files I want to download. I press complete. Now, now on to setting up the folder. So I'm just going to click to select the folder, and I've got a test folder on my desktop that I use. It's there. I'm just going to click open and it's going to put the folder path straight into the Axiom template for me, which is very really useful. You can see there's a folder path. Now I can rename these. I'm going to call them IPC files, leave it at that and see a preview of the file name there. Now some um, files automatically force the browser to, or they make the browser open the file. You can toggle this force download option to try and override that, but we don't need to do that in this case. That's it, the bot's set up, so we can now watch it run. I'm just going to click run without further ado. We're going to see if those files appear in my test folder. Let me just open the test folder here, so I've got it handy. This is the part I love, the browser being automated, although with this automation, sadly, we don't really get to see much happen. Axiom will just open up the page, click download, and the file will be in the folder. So I want to click run. And here's the test folder. Now Axiom will open shortly open. I can just drag it into view, but I'm not clicking download. This will be Axiom doing this. We should see the files appear just there, like magic. That's pretty cool. Not much more to see here because it's done the job for us. So you can use this automation to automate your downloads too. Now, like all our templates, this automation can be completely customized to meet your needs. You can do virtually anything. Let me open up the Axiom again and talk you through some of the options. You can add 
a read data step if you wanted to pull in um, loop through pages that are stored in the Google Sheet to download the files. You can insert these steps inside of a, a loop if you wanted to loop through them. Simple as that, and then you'd add your read data from step. The options are pretty much endless if you needed to um, add steps to log in to get files behind a login. You could use enter text steps and the click element step to, to get past that login. The options are up to you. We've got the steps in there. You just need to add them and build out the bot to, to do the task that you want. Finally, a couple of tips regarding this, this automation, some of the problems you may or, or may not encounter. So when using the download file step, do remember that if the file isn't downloaded, try reselecting a different element. Also worth noting, if you're getting a lot of error messages, do read them and check what they are because quite often when users report an issue with the download files, it's due to their folder permissions not being correct. The folder they're trying to download to is in a part of their computer drive that actually there is no permission to write to. So make sure the folder you want to write to is in the part of your drive that you are, or apps like Axiom are allowed to write to. File name, you should be able to just enter your file name there and Axiom will um, rename the files. Force download, this option could be useful if the, um, if the file you're trying to download keeps opening up in the browser rather than downloading. That's it, thank you for trying Axiom. We do offer great customer support, so reach out to us if you need any help. Bye-bye.